Hello guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. You know all these spirits that have died in war zones? All these spirits that probably still think they're fighting in a war zone? On the other side, for example, Gettysburg. Lots of spirits were seen fighting there, in the bushes and the trees. Perhaps some of these lost spirits don't know they're dead, or don't know they've died and they still think they're in a war zone. I watched something like this on um, Ghost Whisperer. And the, the guy was fighting in the rack war zone, even though he was dead as a ghost, and he still thought he was alive. I know it's a film, but uh, there's, the, the, there is going to be wars on the other side when you die. On the other side. In hell, or in heaven, I don't know. But the thing is, um, that's why they have a lot of people guarding heaven and hell, and, uh, and the earth as well. We can't see what's around us half the time in the spirit world, and what we're on in the real world. But there will be people guarding the graveyards in the spirit world. There will be people guarding the police stations and the ambulance places on the other side to stop idiots getting in. I mean, angels will be there to defend the places and guard them. It's the same with the, you know, it's another world and another dimension that people are seeing on the other side of dead people. It's another world like ours. It could be the same world, but, you know, they see us and look at us. But then when you die on the other side, you can think what people think. You know what they're doing, and you know when they're going to die as well. At the moment on the earth, people don't know when they're going to live or die. That's the thing. <clears throat> and I thought I'd mention it on the video. Um, there's going to be lots of spirits that are confused and think they're alive and fighting in the war zone. So that's what the, the reenactment is what some people do, but they're reenacting what they think was real at one time, which it was. And some of them can't move over or cross over because they're stuck in the same loop. Um, it is quite interesting what I'm saying. Uh, I do like a lot of stories like this, and some people don't like talking about this sort of thing, but everyone's different. But there is going to be some kind of war on the other side, like I say. Um, probably happens all the time. There could be different beings that we don't know on the other side. But there's bound to be a time machine or a time slip somewhere that people are not telling us, because if we found out that they're getting into trouble, and you probably will be able to go back in time in real life some people say they haven't actually experienced the war zones that they're in. But it's hard to know where these police places are, unless you don't have a map or people have not told you, or you've not done your research, you don't know where they are. So, it's like looking in thin air. Um, let's see how long I've been on air for. been on the phone for nearly two minutes. I say it is what it is. I finished my pizzas anyway, I've eaten my pizzas now. So, you know, um, what would you decide, guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Would you go back in time and fight? Would you rather move in the future? Or would you rather go back in time? I know what I prefer, but that's me. I'm different. It doesn't mean everybody has to copy me. I'd rather go back in time. And uh, I'd be happy. These days are boring, trust me. 2024, the music's boring. The films are boring, the games are boring. Some people said I want to go back in the past to PS3 days, Xbox days, Sega Mega Drive days. You see what I'm trying to say? Games were good and films were good and the songs were cool back in the old days. 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s. And then after the 2000s, things are just going downhill. People don't know how to sing anymore. People don't know how to rap any songs anymore. People move on with their lives and they have to employ other people on the cheap. But like I say, um, perhaps there is music on the other side in heaven and shows we don't know about or, I don't know, buildings and houses and jobs you can do on the other side for other people. There probably is. You know, um, some people can have special device to see ghosts and spirits and hear them. Or the phone can pick up spirits and devices and ghosts. Um, I thought I'd talk about this in the video, just to clear the air, which I'm doing now, guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. But like I say, everyone's different. Um, there's the football matches in heaven. Is there? Uh, I don't know. TV shows. You can watch TV. You can eat food in heaven if you want to. You mean you have a choice? It could be another completely different world. That when you die, the doors open. Or they take you up there or down there, it depends. 
in fact it's around us and just can't see it because we're alive different dimensions and portals and everything around us um yeah so i don't know what else to really say about the video i'm just hoping that uh for my sake and everyone else's everyone's different some people just don't want to come back to this earth i'd rather be back in the old days to see the history built up from victorian times tudor times uh, World War One, World War Two. See it for myself, for my own eyes. Which people tell about history and make make it up, do reenactments, put it on the TV, and show you how it was. But if you actually not been there yourself and seen it at your own eyes, you don't know if it's, it's make believe or made up. But it, they do say it was real because the, why would the, why would the gravestones be there? Why would the uh, people talk about it? It must have been a very horrible time back then. Things do move on in the future, but are we still in the past in some ways? No one knows. Some of us do. But anyway, thank you for all joining this video. Hope you all enjoyed it, and uh, I'll catch you all in the next video. Take it easy, peace.